the ninth annual Taste of Laverne, and we've moved it for the first time ever to Sierra Laverne Country Club. And it was a great setting. We have upstairs and downstairs, two floors. Because of the space they have here, we were able to double the size of the event. So instead of 12 restaurants, we have 25 restaurants. We have two wine stations from two independent wine groups. You have food from all over the around, around the world. You have Persian food, American food, Chinese food, Mexican food, and you have dessert food. You have Dippin' Dots, and you also have some cakes from Garden Square. You have lots of restaurants, catering places, um, Hillcrest from Laverne, the retirement community. They're here also showing what they have. So is Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center. So that's a different take on it this year. The wine comes from Jerry Mead's New World International Wine Competition and from the Merchant's Packing House in Claremont. The beer is Finish Line from the Fairplex is out here with beer. And the other one is sharing a table with Corner Butcher Shop. What we got here today is we got our Polish sausage that we make in store with our uh, sausage and peppers that have been uh, marinated in beer. We have our buns to go with the uh, Polish sausage. We have our pulled pork, which we just pulled out of the smoker today. There is no cost to the restaurants. The only thing they have to do is bring their food. Basically, in this economy, anytime you can get your name out without having to spend money for an ad, it's very beneficial. They put their best foot forward, and they're all specializing in the thing that they want to highlight in their restaurant. And people get to see it at a very leisurely pace. We're probably going to have between 250, 275 people here tonight. And in this economy, that is a great turnout from the people in the community to show how much they like Laverne and how much they want to socialize with each other. So it's something we really wanted to foster. Some people are cutting back events because of the economy. We felt this is an event we're definitely going to go forward with. And we have a theme. The theme is the fall. So we have it wrapped around Halloween and the fall season. Most of the people who have been walking in that I've been speaking to have all said, uh, wow, this is beautiful. And they're so thrilled for $30 to have all the wine and food they want to eat. You can't get a better deal than that. And then we have tons of raffle prizes. We have a few, about a dozen silent auctions. And then we have one live auction, a bracelet valued at $1,000. The event, it's great. And if you're not here, you should have been here because you know, I guarantee you would have had a good time. So everybody in there seems to be having a really good time. Lots of place to sit down and relax and enjoy the atmosphere, the decorations, the music, the food, and the wine.